<laughs> I just gave you guys the surprise. Anyway, so let me put up the title screen. And I'm going to wait for that commercial to end. Attention. Attention. Prisoner escape in cell block B. Oh. That explains everything. Red Bull gives you wins. Okay. I keep forgetting to turn off that audio there, but... Anyway, um, so it's 7 a.m. art time, and guys, I've seriously had the craziest weekend in a long time, to tell you the truth. So, let me just check to see. Yeah, okay, everything's going good with that, and sound, and we're gonna go head over here. And so, you know how uh, a lot of the time I don't really get replies to my messages when I send things out about guys what art should I do you know tell me give me suggestions like my, my sister and my mom answered me the last couple times which was you know <laughs> a bunny and a hamster so but anyway so I went to artprompts.org and I got this guys and I thought it was pretty cool strange creatures lurk in the mist between the trees i thought that'd be interesting uh, we're gonna use um sketchbook pro uh 11 again um just because i think that's easier to stream with with my hardware than it is with manga studio because it does start lagging horrendously i gotta get more like processing power but you know <laughs> Travel, but anyway, so strange creatures lurk in the mist between trees. Okay, so we're going to we got that. So let's go head over here. Let me get my little tool. Um, I'm trying to decide how I should start out. I might start out with just a bold blue color. Just to make it look like the color of mist first. And then I'm going to like work in gradations as we go along. And so that color looks pretty cool. Looks pretty nice for a mist kind of just a, a start. And and then I'm going to go darker and darker and, and darker as we go along. So I'm going to get my... Oh, yeah. I'm using the, um, what's it called? Oh my goodness. Airbrush. My goodness. Airbrush tool. And, um, so there was trees in the prompt. There was strange creatures lurk in the mist between the trees. Okay. So, mist, trees, creatures. Okay. So, oh. I really should be doing this on another layer. Oh my goodness. So let me just go erase all that. Erase, 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 erase. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna make a new layer. And, okay. Now we can start. And I just wanna start with sh simple, like, suggestions so far. And I'm gonna come in like thicker layer later in like a different kind of I'm just setting the scene per se. And yeah, some like something starting around like that. Okay, so um we gotta make trees. So I'm gonna let's see how my chisel tool here. I think this is a chisel, yeah, chisel tip pen, and, um, let's head over to the new layer, and I'm going to go find a brownish color, but like I was saying at the beginning, I had a crazy, crazy weekend, um, Friday, um, there was a, a blizzard for the east coast. I'm not sure if the rest of the U.S. got hit with it or not, 
but it was definitely over here in the East Coast, and it was brutal. Oh my gosh. We had no power since Friday, and we got it back on Sunday, but those were the, like, the longest hours ever just waiting to get that power back on. I mean, it's, it was pretty harsh. I mean, because, like, you know, your food goes bad, and it's really cold, and there's no heat, and you're just, like, shivering, and you just put on, I put on pretty much every piece of clothing I had. It was so cold. It was so cold. And, uh, but it could have been a lot colder. I mean, I do live in the southern states, but, I mean, up north got hit harder than, than that, but, but it was really cold, and, my goodness, it was pretty bad. And I'm just glad it's over, you know. It's not something fun, and I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody, because that was, that was pretty bad. But, anyway, so, this is just tree shapey kind of things. And I'm going to come in with the airbrush tool. And I'm going to go choose different colors of brown. I think I might want a darker brown. I'm just going to color it in a bit. I can make the flow a bit stronger. So I'm going to, instead of 55, I'm going to put it on... 74. Just open that up. Yep. And then since it's on its own layer, we can easily, like, add or sub erase off bad edges and stuff like that. And so. I just want to give it that kind of illusion that it's kind of foresty. Just cover that in nice there. Anyway, I hope you guys' weekend was a lot better. I mean, it was pretty, pretty crazy over here, so. Um... Hopefully, like, wherever you guys are at, you guys didn't have to suffer that bad. And you guys, you know, had warm stuff. Because it was definitely a cold weekend with that blizzard. I mean, wherever you guys at. I mean, maybe not everybody had a blizzard. But for those who did, I hope you guys are okay. And you guys got power back on if it went down and stuff like that. Because that's pretty scary. I mean, to not go without power for a long time. It's, it's pretty scary. Okay, here we go. I had like a bunch more. <laughs> I have 70 stories to tell. But like, I'm not exactly sure who watches it. Uh, my Twitch stuff. And sometimes I'll post these on YouTube um, afterward. But there's <laughs> a lot of stories. Like, there was so much drama this weekend. I mean, if being cold and hungry and worried wasn't bad enough. I mean, you got p crazy people and their drama. <sighs> so, but something along these lines, I'm going to add more and more layers of color to it, though. I might want to get more of a copperish tone going in here, too. So I do like how that copper tone looks. Especially, um, with, I've been using a lot of copper tones for my uh, steampunk art I've been doing for um, Unseen Things. If you follow my Instagram or my Twitter, I post a lot of stuff about that. Or Facebook. It's um, at Rodriguez is my Twitter. And um, the same thing is for uh, Facebook. But for Twitter, it's at Abby's Castle. And um, these these trees look like they're bleeding now. But anyway, we're going to fix that. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So, for my steampunk thing, Unseen Things. If you follow that, um, any of my social medias, you know what I do with that. Um, me and my friend have this kind of blog going. 
and it's a like a story kind of thing and I do the art for it and it's it's a lot of fun I'm gonna be doing uh, art this week for um, it's coming out on Saturday it comes out on every other Saturday so it's gonna be coming out this Saturday it didn't come out last Saturday it came out the Saturday before that one so it's every other Saturday and um, it comes out um, various times at on Saturdays if you guys want to check that out, it's um, sherrybranning.blogspot.com. So, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, there's a lot of links to it on my social medias if you just, you know, scroll around. But. So, I'm just trying to add, you know, different depths to these trees before we, you know, start getting detailed on them and stuff so um I'm probably going to use that technique I always talk about for saturating color is adding more uh, duplicating the layers I'm gonna duplicate you see how thick it gets once you put down the color you want and uh, I duplicated it four times and I'm just going to merge with layer below with that um, and then I am going to get my eraser I might use my soft eraser and just start to like blend that away so it's a bit sharper but I still want it to look ghostly and not exactly perfectly cut out like the regular eraser tool would do and because it's gonna be mist mist like I should say so I mean I like the idea of gnarled looking trees and stuff kinda looks a bit blurry which is interesting So, um, Undertale is at 8 o'clock. Super excited about that. Can't wait to get playing again. Can't wait to see all the people who watch that that stream. I mean, it's a lot of fun over there if you guys want to stick around for that. But, um, uh, I enjoy it. I don't really play games too often, but I, I really am enjoying that one. I really am. I didn't think that it would be as good as it is, but it's really as good as <laughs> as good as everyone says it is. It's, it's just that good. I was recommending it to a bunch of people on Facebook, and uh, oh my goodness, I just love the experience I'm getting with it. So definitely deserves all the praise that you've heard on the interwebs. I mean, seriously, like I don't think there's an RPG like it. I mean, if there is, let me know, because I would love to play it. And especially, like, once Undertale's done, I'm going to be taking suggestions of, like, what, what should I do? Bum, bum, bum. So, that's that. And I'm going to get a nice dark color, dark brown color, for my chisel. I might, I might want to do that. And I might want to go a bit more red than that. A bit more red. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to... I'm going to see how that looks. decide if I'd like that kind of bold part or not. It might not go too well. Mm. I kind of do like it. 
Plus, I ran out of, like, undoes. So, might as well just go for it, right? I really should have done this on another layer, but that's why it's important to work in other layers. And sometimes it's easy to forget. But, but we could definitely, like... Just add accents, just so it's a bit more dramatic. Something like that. It adds an accent to it. And a bit more like that. I watched Tarzan yesterday for the first time, and oh my goodness, it was so sad because I kept thinking that the the dad gorilla was going to die, and I was like, and once it got toward the end, I'm like, oh my goodness, he's not going to die, and then he dies. Which was, oh, spoiler. Spoiler alert! for a movie that's really old. 1999. That's as old as my brother. Oh my goodness. But the animation still really holds up. It's like really good. I watched it on Netflix. And that was great. Um. Um. I watched that once the power came back on. <laughs> so. That was a bit of a treat. You know. Tried to, to not stress too much. You know. Um. Put that there. It's not looking too bad. I like that. And I might have a little sniffles because I was getting a little sick with the, the cold over the weekend. <laughs> so, excuse me for my sniffles. And my blow, I just blew my nose right there, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me get back up. No, I don't like that. I'll probably do it on this side. And, yeah, I like that, because it kind of looks gnarled and twisted. I really like the look of gnarled and twisted trees, like if you've um, hung out in the forest at any time in your lives, like you see a lot of those, and they're just so much fun, and you really want to climb them, but you're afraid to climb them because, like, you don't want to die and fall down, and since you're in the woods alone... You know, you have to survive and dragging up your broken ankle or something like that is no fun. Yeah, I, I, that's not too bad actually. Um, okay, I like that. Anyway, so I'm going to go and add some. Behind the trees, I'm going to work on the color for the background like we were doing earlier. And let me just get this background color with the dropper tool so I can get exactly the same um, family of shades. And I want to do a bit more misty and then get a bigger kind of like that. Hmm. I forgot to do that on another layer. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? I keep doing the wrong things. Um, but anyway, I just had a thought that um, I should make the tree layer more pronounced with like greens and stuff like that on the top so it looks a bit more eerie. So I'm going to um, duplicate that layer again, but I'm going to get my select tool and I'm going to select the whole thing on this layer, the new layer I created and then I'm going to crop it, crop it, nope, nope, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do, <laughs> just pretend you didn't see that, alright, I'm going to try to make it smaller, oh there it is, scale, and this if I move this layer below this layer. Yeah. Okay, let's try all that again. But first, move this layer below this layer. And... There we are. And... Move. Something, scale it a bit more. Maybe not so much more. If I left it like that, it'd be interesting. I wonder if 
not my sister. I could do a bit more. Mm, get it just enough so it touches the top parts like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna get um, another layer and duplicate that. Mm, duplicated and make that smaller. Move that over. It should be behind it. Again. I keep doing the same mistakes. Oh my goodness. Oh, my exhaustion is showing. No. It should be interesting to see how Undertale goes today. Let's see. Let's see. Scale it. Okay. And then move it over. And then in between all these layers, I am going to put some green, but like a misty color green. And yeah, kind of not too saturated. But it still needs to be darker, so I'm going to add different variations to that. It needs to be a good amount darker than that. <coughs> yeah, that's better. Even be able to go a bit darker too. And we can always take, um, reshape this a bit with the uh, eraser, soft eraser tool, which is what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to um, get my soft eraser tool, gently erase it, like that, but I'm going to duplicate this a couple times so it's just saturated. not too saturated. Maybe just one duplicate. So I just don't want it to be see-through, you know. And then on the layer above all the trees, absolutely all the trees, I'm going to add a little bit of this kind of darkish color, but let me just add it like... Hmm. There we go. Hmm. I was using the eraser. <laughs> okay. Slider, kind of feeling. And then move back to the darker, but a smaller tool, probably. Okay. And it doesn't have to be too saturated, I don't think. Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. 
doesn't look too horrible after all. All right, now let's go and go back to our blue layer that we were trying to do stuff with. All right, grab that. I'm going to start. Um, I want to make sure that all these layers still stay layers and not combine them all because I want to put the monster the weird creatures um, in between all of them. So now this layer is directly going to be directly above the first layer that we just did with that blue, and it needs to be super dark back here. So I need it more dark. And we can ha leave it like that kind of streaky look, going back and forth like that. And then in between the first layer of trees, I'm going to do a bit of misty color and make my brush a bit bigger. And I'm just going to do it gently over it so it's, it's transparent. It's only on the ah no that's not what I meant to do <laughs> oh well just redo that all right it's only gonna be over the left side because the right side is in a different layer then do next to the other side I get that ghostly apparition kind of look. Not bad. Okay. And then at the very um, top of the tree there, the most um, foreground tree, we're going to get a bigger brush. It's interesting. I like how that looks actually. I'm actually really liking that. That's kind of creepy, kind of spooky. Okay, um, I'm gonna save this real quick, just in between this. I don't want to lose it. My computer has been blue screening out of nowhere sometimes. I'm gonna name it Mist, real quick. Sometimes, um, like I'm working on a big art project on Manga Studio, and if I don't like continuously like save like every like 15, 20 minutes. I could lose so much work, and it's happened to me. I've lost, like, entire panels from my comic one time. That was brutal, to say the least. But, anyway, um... So, just make sure you save a lot, guys. Now, I want some... Um, I'm gonna get the pencil tool, and I'm gonna get black. Just so I can see where I want. I'm going to put this behind all that mist layer that we just did. No. Nope. Further back. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Kinda looks That's interesting. Okay. So And you can do, I'm just sketching into something. It doesn't have to be exact because I'm trying to do, um, like the prompt said, creatures lurk in the mist between trees. So it could be pretty much anything. So, anyway. I'll go back over here. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm gonna do sketchy. I might just leave sketchy kind of things to leave it like it's shrouded in a way.
not so much for this guy right here. Might fix him a bit because he's kind of just a blob. And I mean, it's okay to be more sketchy like that for the back, but because the back is kind of creepy. That is a bit creepy. I'm gonna erase him. Get my eraser. I'm sorry. But you were not working out. Okay. Just kind of weird things. I draw a lot of creatures for, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going in. Um, I draw a lot of creatures for, um, the comic that I do unseen things, so I kind of like, kind of weird, I don't understand what you are kind of vibe. define these more once we sketch them in. so silly. I'm gonna get um, my eraser tool and just erase this line. Since these are all misty kind of creatures, it's okay to like leave them weird formed. Okay. So anyway, I'm just got my placement markers for them. I'm going to make them a bit more transparent so I can go and draw them in right now in a new layer. I'm just going to zoom really up close and personal. Making 
my little hat. Coloring his eyes a bit. That kind of shadow. that shaded a bit. Okay, let's see how that looks. I like that. Yeah, over here. <clears throat> My voice, I'm sorry about it. It's just, it's tired, it's worn. I'm gonna take a sip, how about that? I had a pair this morning, that was pretty good. Get a little bit bigger pencil. And I'm gonna shape this face a bit more. details put a little shadow in there the mysterious creatures okay and add a bit of this little kind of furish kind of detail thingy. Add a bit more of that. Do 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 continue that furish type of thing. Mm, not bad. Okay, um, and let's pan over here. See what's got working over here. his hood nice up in there I've taken a bit of inspiration from the dark crystal you might have noticed <laughs>
this little top. And throw shadow, shadow. Put some in the hood too. And add folds into the robe. Folds around. Mm, okay, um, let's move our little guy. Put back my pencil. a bit more. Do 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 bit interesting to look at, ain't it? And they're all a bit interesting to look at. Okay, so let's see over here. We can sculpt him a bit more too. Trying to make it look a bit like melty fleshy, kind of give that illusion of that. put a little leg up there just because why not and bring in this kind of shoulder blade area and that's just going to go drip off, drift off into the mist do one back here so it looks like he has two arms I want to add a bit of that kind of droopy flesh look. Like he's melting or sweating. Kind of like Clayface. It's kind of how I want him to look, a bit like Clayface. like a monster. Okay, let's see how all this looks. I'm going to turn off this layer 
the sketch layer. And that looks really cool. Uh, I'm going to make them a bit more transparent so they kind of fade into the fog a bit. Wow, that's nice. That's, pr that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I really like that. I mean, it's subtle, but a bit weird, a bit strange, a bit demented. Which I like, so um, I think that's pretty cool, guys. Um, let me see if I can duplicate this layer without doing it. It just makes them darker. Yeah, but I like them a bit lighter. Um, maybe I can even go a bit lighter than that. So Make this first layer of trees a bit lighter, too. Just a little bit, not too much. So that the trees aren't overpowering. Move this canopy a bit so that they're not too overpowering. The canopy, good, good. Alright, um, so on the very top, I'm going to put my little sign sign signature. Not bad. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I enjoying it. So I'm gonna save that, and I'm going to. Again, I post these on my Deviant Art, where you can download them for free. So I'm gonna save as a JPEG, and I'm gonna upload it right now. And okay. And I'm gonna go do this right now. I'm trying to figure out tags I should use for it. Miss prompts weirdness. Okay, so I'll take a sip. Wow, I have a lot of notifications. Okay, so submit. Um, choose file to upload. I'm going to. Zoom in for, to this so you guys can see that while <laughs> you wait. Okay, so um, I'm going to put mist JPEG open. No, there's no mature content. Downloads. Oh, uh, okay, mist. I'll probably call it um creatures of the mist and then I'm going to just say made this at the 7 a.m. live stream on twitch dot tv slash oddweed Okay. Um thanks to prompt generator. Thanks to art prompts. Not sponsored. Dot org. P S not sponsored. I'm probably gonna do I mean, use um, artproms.org from now on for my kind of streaming art needs, <laughs> I should say. And just do whatever cool stuff I find on there that inspires me or whatever, or makes me like, um, hmm, what should I do? Okay, so tags, um, art. Um, prom. Um, Twitch. Mist. Um, trees. Come on. 
monsters. Monster. I can't even, like, make the monster come up. Okay, monster uh, creatures. Uh, that is good. <laughs> and... Um, this is digital art. Um, drawings, paintings. Uh, shit, I guess this is fantasy. Um, submit. Alright, so that is up right now on my Rodriguez DeviantArt. It's just read you guys. Same way it's spelled here, same way it's spelled there. Just look me up. And you can download it for the freeze. Because I love you guys. Anyway. Um, yeah. Do, do, do. Okay, except of that. And I'm going to come back in a couple minutes. And we will do what you've all been waiting for. Undertale. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be lots of fun. I'm going to use a potty. Maybe get a snack. I don't know. Because I'm off sugar right now. And um, it's not fun. I just ate fruit. Fruit has natural sugars. It's not that weird stuff. But anyway. <laughs> let me go back to my intro. Okay. So I'm going to be back in a couple minutes. And then we're going to go live again. <laughs> so I will TTYL.